There you go. And now, oh, we're getting some ink stains. Head is bobblehead. Not good. You see that? Yeah. You everybody, yeah. it is Rocker the Great, superstar artist, creator of this guy right here, Goose Faba, toy hunter extraordinaire coming to you with something I've actually been excited about. Not a lot of figures have been exciting me lately. When there is a figure that does something good, we talk about it on this channel. This is the Target exclusive NWO WCW Macho Man Randy Savage. This is how I remember Macho Man from when I was a kid. There are a lot of collectors in Jersey and everybody is scalping and all that stuff. So I knew I probably would not find this guy or if I did, it would be, you know, for a long time. So I just thought, you know what? I had to pre-order this guy. Now let's see. Oh yeah, too sweet on the bottom. Tray shot. And now this is what I like to see, a lot of accessories. This is what you want to see when you buy an action figure. We're not going to be seeing stuff like this again in the future though. Everything's going to be less and less. So I'm telling you, pick this guy up. He's going to be something in the future for sure. So here are some accessories. We have the madness. What would you say? Do-rag, bandana, headband thing? Triangle glasses, weight belt, another shirt. Always awesome when you get multiple shirts with a figure. I love that. That's what the Ultimates started out. You could get different looks. We need to bring that back. Keep that going, Ultimates. Now, he is lacking hands, but we can use hands from other figures. I believe the NWO Hulk Hogan, you could probably swap out hands for this, but we only have open hands and then the hands that are on the figure itself. The tongue open head. I have a thing on my nose though. There's a dot on his nose. And then we have angry. We can get a lot of different looks. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's get to the figure. Now, hold up. Head is bobblehead. Not good. You see that? Quality control issues already. All right, not excited about that. It seems like I got a little bit of quality control issues. His head is a bobblehead. He's popping around. Let me see if there's something we could do about that. Why is that? Hold on. Something wrong with his head. I'm going to do it on camera because I want to see. You know, the heads were meant to pop, so to swap, so they should pop off pretty easy. Uh, you wanna pop off? Is his head gonna pop off? You wanna pop off, bro? You want... There we go, okay. I didn't like that. That was a little scary. Yeah, his neck joint is really loose. Look at that. Really loose. Yeah, there you go. Now he's got that kiss look going on. Now his shirt is um, not bad. It's a little baggy. Ooh, it's got a back print. Come on, guys. All right, this I think this might be one of the best ultimates out there in my IMO, in my opinion. Now let's let's take his shirt off and see. Okay, so oh, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to. So we're gonna have to take his head back off. Oh, gonna have to take his head off. Then the shirt, because it is bolt sided. There is no like Velcro strap in the back. You're gonna have to just pop his shirt off like a normal shirt. So let's. Let's do this while we're on camera, just so we can see the ease of this. All right, but there you go. And now, oh, already we're getting some ink stains and I'm not happy about that. I will be contacting. When it comes to these ultimates and like these high level, high quality things, if it was a basic or an elite, I would just, whatever, I would eat it. But these are supposed to be, we're paying premium. There should not be ink stains that so for people who don't know this is look white material and then they dye the design on it over time it's gonna look leak and leak and this whole figure will be just ink stained and uh, there's really no ways to get that off because it's not paint so you can't scratch it off It's the ink goes deep into the plastic and soaks it up not good So I'm not excited about that man what we're paying for these figures especially after tax and ship should be premium quality now besides the ink stain We're getting a nice torso. It looks good. He's got the tan skin. They're getting the skin correct. Macho Man and Hulk Hogan were like so freaking tan that it's ridiculous. And it's about time we started seeing the tan uh, represented in the, you know, in the toys themselves. So that's good to see. So he's got that. He's got the double jointed knees. Now again, that's going to be a little bit of a headache. It's an ultimate figure, right guys? This stuff is sold to us as premium. They want us to pay 10 bucks more. You know, in most cases now it went up in, I don't know where you guys are, Jersey, it's like 30. So I've seen some ultimates for 40 bucks. You know, we're paying premium. We should always have high standards, guys. His uh, ankle, he's got the toe articulation and he's got a stripe on the bottom of the boot. I like that. I like these little details. Makes you feel like you're getting your money's worth. Butterfly joints is probably the best thing about these ultimates. 
Very, very good. I like those. Let's put this belt on. I want to see them all done up. I want to see how this guy looks. Belt. I don't know about you guys. My belt's looking a little tiny. I might have to heat this up and stretch it out a little bit. The belt feels a little cheaper than uh, past belts. This isn't good. This actually, I wonder if anyone else had this problem. You guys probably watch multiple toy reviewers. Let me know if anyone else has this problem, but I'm not getting it. I made this little custom NWO Elizabeth. Now, I know Macho Man was kind of little, but I didn't know... Is, is this correct, guys? Like, was this, this big of a height comparison? This Hulk might be a little bit too big because it looks like Hulk's even bigger than Kevin Nash, and I know that's not true. Scott Hall. And I know Scott Hall was tall. Hot <laughs> Scott Hall was tall. Just for I always do this, we got my character, Goose Faba, right here. We got him for size comparison, and then a Marvel Legend. Let's put a little Marvel Legend in there. So in case you want to have a fan coming up, I think that works perfect. It looks like, yo, you know Goose Faba could have joined up in NWO. If you want to know more about my action figures, it's been nine months I've been making them. They've been selling out really good, a lot of hype around them. Follow me on any of my social medias if you want more updates. There is going to be a new drop coming soon in October, so you could jump on. Now, what do you guys think? Are you going to be picking up this Macho Man figure? I definitely think this is one to pick up. Even with my ripes on it, it still is one of the best ultimate additions next to the Hulk Hogan, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. The comments help the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you guys in the next toy hunt. Bye. You want to send something into the channel? I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up in their own video on the channel. Let me break in here and say shout out to all my channel members. You guys are amazing. You guys help support the channel so that we could keep pumping these videos out for everybody to enjoy. So not only do you get a lot of exclusive content, you get monthly gifts that I send out to you for free. So down below is the link. Join up to become a channel member today. It's basically like a Patreon, but it's on YouTube. So you support me monthly. Hey guys, I just put up a ton of brand new stuff on my merch website. Link is always down below. Buy some merch.